I was introduced to this when I was in my 20s. I was doing a lot of detoxing and fasting. And this is when they, 20 years ago, they already were educating about food combining. That's why fruit's always on its own, never after a full meal. This is just going to rot because for fruit to be digested, they need just 20 minutes. Boom. And they digest it. Meat needs 8 to 12 hours sometimes. So if you first take in meat and then berries only towards the end, while meat is getting digested, the berry is just sitting there and it's fructose, it starts to rot, it starts to ferment. And then you just end up with a lot of bloating and digestion. So that's why always on an empty stomach, fruits, complex meals, protein with vegetables, and that's it. You want potatoes, you want dal, you want rice, you do it also with vegetables. Don't pair the two together. So we try to kind of all these tests. I retired. We are back. It's a brand new episode of Tell Me Why here in the Gulf News studios. With me in the studio is Natasha Rudachenko. Ah, yes. I yes, got it you right. did it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she's a biochemist. She's a functional medicine practitioner, founder of HealthNag, and the list goes on. I feel like there are so many things I could list. And we are here to talk about you, to talk about your brand, and to talk about health in general. Um, Natasha, before we dig deeper, mm. I want to know more about you. How did you get to where you are today? How did you, you know, start Health Nag? Um, just tell me more about yourself. Sure. So in my 20s, I was diagnosed with incurable health conditions. Okay. And uh, the doctor told me it's for life. It put me on like hormonal therapy, on different kind of drugs and medicine. And of course, I said, no, like mm. this is this is no way I'm going to take it. There's no way. And I decided to kind of start researching. And since then, I've dedicated like over 12 years just to learn everything about like anatomy, biochemistry, uh, Ayurveda, Chinese medicine, you name it. Like I really went so deep into it. And um, in this journey, during this time, I set up four businesses that are health and wellness related. So HealthNack is not my first and probably not the last knowing myself. Wow. And uh, I had already, I've had three businesses before and they, um, it kind of like was just all about living a healthy lifestyle. I wanted to inspire everyone else. And HealthNack was born out of that desire to actually educate people as well because I did heal myself actually. I mm -hmm. healed incurable health conditions. So my passion became so intense I wanted to spread this information and that's how HealthNack started. It started as a blog initially, just like a health blog. I was mm -hmm. just educating, sharing my insight, what I've learned in the last, let's say, 20 years. And uh, just naturally, we transitioned into a supplement brand because community wanted also a product they could blindly trust. Mm -hmm. With all that information that I was putting out there, it was so relatable, so useful. Everyone was just like, wow, no one is talking about it. Mm. So trust was there, credibility was there, but products were not there. So we just th thought it's time to also start launching our products as well. But we are a wellness movement before we are a supplement brand. And we will right. always be like this. We will always keep educating, always breaking conventional medicine stereotypes. We'll always encourage everyone to do preventative medicine rather than reactive medicine. Right, right. And I feel like it's become such a trend, you know, people looking for wellness journeys that actually fit them. And they're looking, and I love what you're doing because you found a gap in the market and you filled it. You found that there was a gap with, you know, being honest and, and, you know, delivering that candid information about wellness that people lacked, that people needed. Absolutely. Basically. We actually, we actually uh, started to really expand a lot during COVID. Oh, wow. Uh, because that's when people started to take their health seriously. Until yes. then, I was nagging, but no one was listening. <laughs> and now everyone was down with COVID and uh, the people were really, really uh, affected by it. And they started to listen to what I was saying. And I started to do a lot of webinars during COVID, sitting at home, just educating, educating, heavy, very intense, like three, four hour uh, webinar. And people loved it. And mm. And, and that's how it grew and grew and grew. And of course, all the wellness businesses actually started to uh, to to be better. But it's not. It, it wasn't my first time I was talking about health. It's just everyone started to take it seriously only then. At, at that time, mm. okay. Um, so we're you know talking about wellness and talking about all these like different ideas and concepts that came yeah. up. Um, one of them, which is a buzzword, biohacking. Yes. What is biohacking? Which I don't like, actually. I'm oh, gonna, yes. amazing. What is biohacking? Biohacking is essentially understanding what your body needs to function 
optimally. Okay. That is that is what it is. There is nothing more to it. I call it health optimization okay. or just purely health because biohacking it feels like I don't know it's something unreachable. You need to understand it. No, it's none of it. All these gadgets and everything. Okay, it, it's it's a cherry on top of mm-hmm. the cake, mm-hmm. but it's never should be. It never should be your base. Your base should be understanding anatomy, understanding how your body and organs work, giving it nutrition, right nutrition, giving yourself right nutrition, giving yourself a proper hydration, making sure that you don't just prioritize pleasures when it comes to food, but also prioritize what your body actually needs so it can protect you 24-7 against all the viruses, the parasites, the bacteria, so you don't die. People okay. don't understand that immune system is one number one asset that you have. So biohacking, okay, you can extend your life, but again, it's just, it's health optimization. The more you do for yourself, it's like a bank, you know, you invest into your health, nothing gets a noticed by your body your body notices everything you drink celery juice today you don't drink tomorrow it notices that you know it's not like you're trying to fool it or biohack it you're trying to give it what it needs and that's what i feel this should be the right word for it it should be just health optimization there's no such thing as biohacking what is that your body is a machine Yes, understanding the mach- how machine works and then cater to its needs, it's important. Mm-hmm. But it's not by hacking. Right. It's just normal taking care of your body, you okay. know? So it's just maybe a preference of the word, but essentially it, the, the intention is the same. Is the same. But to be honest, what you mentioned right now is, is actually quite interesting because I feel like a lot of people I speak to on a daily basis do not understand their body. Uh, they I, do not. Exactly. Absolutely, they do not. And this is what well, I was one of the first to start talking about that high acidity is actually low acidity. I started talking about like six, seven years ago. And mm-hmm. now I'm seeing like, oh, wow, I think I have uh, um, low acidity actually to fix my acid reflux. Ironically, you need to take more acid. Mm. So it, it, your, the, our stomach was meant to be acidic. If you remove the acidity, you cannot digest amino acids, meaning you cannot digest protein. Forget it. It will be in digestion. It will be rotting inside. It will be like give you flotulence and all that. We were meant to be acidic when it comes to our stomach. But what happens during acid reflux is just the acid goes up. The sphinx stays very... um, weak and it keeps opening the doors but it's usually inflammation and low acidity when you fix both it closes tightly and there's no massive reflux Mm. so it this these things and people really don't understand that they don't understand when you drink cold water like with ice with your meals you block your bile and you solidify the fat that means you slow down the digestion by another maybe eight hours uh you may you ensure malabsorption because when fat is really hard it's impossible to properly move in your digestive system and obviously your for your body to absorb cold water is the worst thing you can do to have with your meals people don't know that simple i didn't things. know that there you go there <laughs> i'm you go. shocked and, and there's a lot of people so always either don't drink at all or drink something warm to open all your bile ducts so the bile is released the uh, stomach acidity is released the enzymes are released everything works as a system anything cold eating ice cream will also it will lead to the indigestion so having a little bit of a cup of tea on top of your ice cream will help to open this bile uh, ducts and also help you digest properly fat like with everything in life the choice will always be there you have to learn who to trust you need to do your own research i always say don't take my word for it do your own research honestly what you said is spot on because i feel like me myself i'm overwhelmed with everything i see online don't eat protein no eat protein of course veganism is the way no, yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. all about the carnivore diets. No, it's about uh, ketogenic diets. It's it's so overwhelming. Absolutely, I feel like people get lost in this chaos. Absolutely, but like understanding first, you you listen to your body, but we tend to ignore the signals. So if you don't know, if you're not sure, do the genetic test and then understand for yourself. You see predisposition to uh, diabetes, watch it. Make yeah. sure you take berberine or other chromium or other things that. Uh, uh, reduce the blood sugar right. Uh, spikes, right? Or watch the sugar consumption. If you don't really have an issue, it's okay. The fruits or other things will not have a, such an effect on you uh, as on for everyone else, for example. Yes, of course. Hmm. And what if someone doesn't have, you know, the ability or the luxury or the accessibility to do like a DNA test? Like how can they hmm. do it just on a daily basis? How can I understand my body? 
as you said like look for listening cues, absolutely listen to uh, it okay. took me a while to actually listen to my body now i can pick up on so many things i'm hypersensitive okay. whether okay. it's good or not it could be not so good because when i go on holiday my body tells me natasha you, I, i don't like it <laughs> well before it would be okay but now a small step right or small step left is already natasha yes <laughs> 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 get back <laughs> please yes exactly <laughs> so it can be not good but I, i also liked it because i trained my body then it can quickly tell me but i would say if you're not sure do a uh, one week coffee one week green tea and see when which week you feel better may take notes more energy mm. less anxiety uh more motivation better mood these are all the things that you should look out for it, same yeah. with food try to do oh my god guys the amount of changes you will receive by just dropping gluten just bread every single person that i meet right now i'd say 99% out of 100 you know they would say as soon as i dropped bread my inflammation gone so you are about to actually start healing and you have a little bit of piece of bread small amount already is enough to trigger severe inflammation then you you trigger it again and then it's a vicious circle mm-hmm. so for you to really heal you need to go one month without bread i'm just giving an example yeah, and course. same so you test it out going without bread it shouldn't be such a massive drastic difference there are always something like gluten free options um so it's not so hard no i've I, learned absolutely. and i've not i'm not feeling deprived anymore i eat everything i eat delicious i love food but i'm super clean it just comes natural to me healthy choices in the restaurant i don't go for like i don't know a uh, fried rice i don't go for fried food it's like inflammation full on it's mm-hmm. not about calories i love fat if you see how much fat i consume it's in- insane yes. but i'm skinny mm. it's not fat that makes you fat is the sugar is yes. the inflammation so remove those carbs the simple carbs the bread the pasta and all this deep fried stuff i've been trying to control my insulin spikes yeah. again with a diagnosis with insulin resistance for yeah. a while and back and forth obviously are you taking supplements like berberine for example no i am not this is great to to drop the sugars really it's is fantastic. it really i will look and this it. is what i would do rather taking fruits on a uh, on a full um stomach because that creates more fermentation and leads okay. to digestion fruits on an empty stomach natural spikes are okay they're okay. normal okay we were designed like this but if you take berberin it will not allow it to, to spike it so so actively so badly why do you think people still find it very difficult to be healthy or to lose weight or to meet their you know their health goals why do you think like what is the main issue it all comes down to um neurochemistry i believe It's uh, very hard to be happy without certain foods. It's very hard to be happy without alcohol. Before, again, I relate to both stories because it's not like I was always like this healthy. I was quite opposite, actually quite disastrous. Mm. So for me, telling me that to go for a birthday party or uh, to any party and not to drink, I would just say no because I could not imagine this. It would be the most boring activity ever. Mm. And this was because my own brain was not producing enough of those happy hormones, not enough dopamine, not enough this uh, serotonin because it was cheap dopamine based on sugar, based on um, I was deriving it from food, from alcohol, from parties and all the other things. Like it, we call it cheap dopamine because mm. it has side effects. Uh now I am very driven. I have goals. That's that's a beautiful thing to have when when you want to boost your dopamine. Without goals, we humans, we need we need other pleasures. So this for me is like a pleasure right now. Um the the serotonin like you derive from i don't know from from nature from relationships from other things you like i i'm not anymore addicted to this particular it's like a di- addiction it's like a drug alcohol mm. sugar works exactly the same way in the in your brain that's why it's so difficult to go off drugs and that's why it's so difficult to go off sugar if if it's sugar then go from very high gluten dairy sugar go for a cleaner one i don't know banana bread that's uh, with healthier sugar or a dark chocolate with nuts you know mm. something like you can try and start fooling your brain a little bit that's maybe what you, i would call biohacking in okay. this particular <laughs> case that's you're fooling your own biochemistry yeah. and and just really the healthier you are the more you start going to the gym for example then you will 
crave less sugar. It's just mm. it's just like this. But of course, if you're a complete beginner, you're just starting up, forget it. The, the motivation will be super low. In this case, I would use supplements that boost your mood. And there are supplements that you can literally force your body to produce more of the dopamine. There are supplements like that, mm -hmm. like uh, L-DOPA, and they're actually called like the very similar to that, 5-HTP. Yeah. These are the things that help you to create a very good mood and not depending so much on food. This is, again, another way of maybe biohacking mm -hmm. right because then you kind of like it's a drug but it's healthy yeah exactly. <laughs> you know and until you go to the gym at least you get the motivation to go to the gym to be healthier without these supplements maybe you'll fail take one healthy habit one just one and until you are very comfortable with that habit do not add anything else this is my otherwise you're too hard on yourself and yeah. most likely you will just fail mm -hmm. and you don't want to fail also all the time because at the same time we are connected to that winning we want that end result is what gives us the pleasure so nail one habit doesn't matter it takes you two three weeks to drop the bread or two three months or one year to stop the it's okay but stop do one habit mm. okay our gut yes and our gut health yes everyone has an issue right now exactly. absolutely everyone the microbiome and and you know the fact that your gut is your second brain and people need to listen to their gut i mean not just only listen to their body but listen to their actual gut yeah so what are some of the main issues with the gut like the well, everyone, things. everyone is down. Um, my theory is that, yeah, we are definitely not eating uh, well. And if you go to airport or any other entity everywhere, even to healthy events, this is what drives me insane. This is why I need the big mic and say, guys, <laughs> we are at the wellness event right now. Why is the only thing that's available is gluten? Yeah. <laughs> And if they're very nice to you as well, they'll give you some dairy as well. Oh, you know, nice. and that's it. And some coffee. Nice. Oh my God, what 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 are we eating in hospitals? You are recovering from a major operation. What are you? What, what what's? Oh my God! Like I get so so annoyed when I see yogurt, bread, croissant usually, mm -hmm. tea with sugar. This is what we're feeding. This is a feast for all kind of bacteria that even antibiotics will not help. You know, mm. like I'm, I'm just giving an example. So we are not eating right. All these desserts, all this bread. Like the moment you sit down in the restaurant, what do they give you? The bread. Of course, the and bread And of course, basket. you get eat the bread first. Yeah. Your, your blood sugar spikes. And then you are, you are not, you don't really have so much room anymore for actual food. And then it's just gluten clocks your entire digestive system. Nothing is moving there. Mm. That's why. And we deep fried and all that. And, and then on top of that, sugar, alcohol, and caffeine, stress, and lack of sleep. So this is the reason why our gut is so inflamed. Pairing protein with potatoes or rice is the worst combo. If you have sluggish digestion, if you're like a soldier superstar, which is no one these days. Yeah. This is the problem. Better not to pair those two together. Yeah. This is how I eat. I eat protein with vegetables. And if I want carbs, like a potato or pizza, I'll do it just with vegetables. So of course, pizza, I'm not going to touch gluten. But yeah. I'm talking any other, let's say, buckwheat or, or rice. Cauliflower. Or some cal yeah, so something like whatever, that. Yeah. This is very, very important. And I'm used to it. And I was introduced to this when I was in my 20s. I was doing a lot of detoxing and fasting. And this is when they, 20 years ago, they already were educating about food combining. That's why fruit's always on its own, never after a full meal. This is just going to rot because for fruit to be digested they need just 20 minutes boom mm -hmm. and they digest it mm -hmm. meat needs 8 to 12 hours sometimes so if you first take in meat and then berries only towards the end while meat is getting digested the berry is just sitting there and mm. it's fructose it starts to rot it starts to ferment and then you just end up with a lot of bloating and digestion so that's why always on an empty stomach fruits Complex meals, protein with vegetables, and that's it. You want potatoes, you want dal, you want rice, you do it also with vegetables. Don't pair the two together. With the protein. Yeah, wow. that's the hardest. But if you really want to be a superwoman. <laughs> yes, and please. And most, or superman. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you start eating like this, you'll be, first of all, energy level, sleep, you, you, the bloating, you'll forget about the bloating okay. part. Uh, it will be just your metabolism will increase, the skin will increase, improve. There's so many benefits. This is how I eat. I'm, okay. I'm eating like this for God knows how long already, as I said, 15 yeah. years. Yeah. Of course you sleep. It's okay. Yeah. 
I'm talking in general. In general, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, the rule, not the exception. Oh, There's always exceptions. Yeah. You know, you mentioned celery juice. I, you mentioned so many things that I want to talk about. I want to talk about detox diets. I want to talk about <laughs> we need your another opinion. One. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about all these things. But celery juice, because mm. I, for one, tried them and I love them. I absolutely love them. But tell me the benefits of that. Like, what are the benefits mm. of these uh, cold pressed uh, celery juices? Or yeah, so. Any any veg- vegetable juice, obviously, it's very good for you. Um, parsley is phenomenal. It's one of the most incredible juice that you can have. You need a lot of, obviously, parsley to do it. But you can combine it with cucumbers and some apples. So this is good. But if to talk just about celery juice, first of all, it's very high in electrolytes. Okay. A special sauce that it contains is like a natural electrolyte. So it's incredibly hydrating. Okay. Also, it's very low in sugar. And it's uh, high in minerals and vitamins. So it's like a little multivitamin that you take right away. Also, it kills viruses. A lot of us have viral infections without us knowing it. Okay. Like epstein barr herpes. There's so many viral infections that we have. It's also we have like bacteria that we don't know about, the parasites we don't know about. And they're all um, exhausting our immune system. Mm. So essentially, celery juice is just helps you body to get rid of it it boosts your immune system it hydrates you but it also is acting like as a con- antibacterial anti-parasitic and antiviral okay. and that's why i like it because it's not the peel it's the nature okay going back to detoxes let's do it what's your opinion on like these detox diets or these detox juice uh, you know again juice is good well. if it's not fortified with fruits any juice is good because the amount of nutrients that you're going to get from juice is higher then if you would be, you would have to eat like a huge bowl of celery, for example, to mm. get the same nutrition. So juice is good. But if you start juicing fruits, this is a big no-no because then you just sugar minus the fiber. Okay. So unless it's a green vegetable, it's great to juice it. Okay. Um, detox is can never be just a product. Okay. It's an activity. Detox is, any detox is, supporting your natural detoxification processes. That's it. There's nothing more to it. It cannot okay. be just one product that will detoxify you. You initiate that process within your body. So we have a detox product to give you an example. Like I used to fast, right? Fasting okay. is incredible because on day three or day four, you enter autophagy. This is when your body literally starts cleansing even the cancer cells and all these faulty cells, precancerous cells. You know that we are producing cancer cells pretty much regularly. A lot oh, of yes. us, the immune system is just able to identify it and uh, kill it. Fight it off. Exactly. Kill it immediately. Yes. During fasting, this process is on, on steroids. It's becoming much, much more bigger. So you're literally, your immune system doesn't have ener- doesn't need to spend any energy on digestive uh, process or any other process it's it just activates your immune system starts to scan your entire body looking for bad faulty cells and kill it and do do the does the cleaning you know okay. like a major spring cleaning that mm-hmm. you can think of mm-hmm. uh, this is what happened during fasting however majority of people cannot achieve this as a beginner impossible the hunger is too strong so we've created the program which I've used in the past, where we hack it. Actually, this would be a good yeah. uh, also <laughs> word for it. Yeah. Uh, with the fiber that is not food, it's not a meal replacement, but it keeps you full while keeping you in a fasting state. Okay. So first we achieve that. So you're going to get into autophagy without the starvation. Okay. That exact fiber also, there is no detox without cleansing your liver and your digestive system. There is no detox. All these juice fasts, they're useless. Mm. It's just water comes through the justice. Is, okay, it's meal, meal reduct. It's a calorie restriction. Mm-hmm. That's how I would call it. Yeah. But it's not a detox. For the detox, you need to support your liver and you need to clean your colon, which is the dirtiest organ in all humans. It's mm. factual, by yes. the way. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of parasites. There's a lot of bacteria. There's like it's, it needs to be cleaned. I, if you if you have a sluggish digestive system, most likely your colon is extremely toxic. You don't know it. It shows in your face. It shows in your energy levels, in your sleep, in your um, mood, because we are very moody. That's why after, after detox, there's so much happiness because your body is relieved, mm. literally, of this toxicity, of that inflammation. So the, unless the program has a lot of fiber that cleanses your digestive system and allows you to fast, there is no detox. So we have this program as per, this is actually the first product that we've launched with Health Snack. The fasting kit that is a colon cleanse, but not a laxative. It's just a lot of fiber that's kind of like very unique type of fiber. It has an ability to attach itself to all these um, pockets 
because colon has pockets. Mm -hmm. And very often these pockets are full with mucoid plaque or undigested waste, as I call it. And there's a lot of going on that's okay. not supposed to be there. And this fiber just allows it to kind of like scoop it out, attach it to itself. And because it's not digestible, it just releases from the release from the body in one like big rope, let's put it this okay. way, okay. naturally, painlessly with dignity. Nice. <laughs> you feel incredible. You feel like you, you, you're you ready to fly mm. because your body loves the feeling afterwards. It sends you all the signals. Oh my God, whatever you did is amazing. Mm. Plus you fasted. So you enter the autophagy, you cleanse, you cleanse your entire um, like cellular system. The longer you go three, four, five days is fantastic because then you really can rejuvenate your entire cellular health. Mm -hmm. Your collagen levels are boosted by 2000%. New stem cells are released and stem cells is like the most powerful anti-aging, anti-inflammatory. Yes. It heals all the organs. This can only happen during fasting for at least three days minimum. And this is the cheapest stem cell, cell, uh, stem cell therapy that I can ever recommend. So we've combined these two and that's why you get such an incredible result from this detox. No other product out there that has the same ingredients or works in the exact same way. That's why we're getting like a lot of uh, people, Dr. Karim, who is very famous here, um, he mostly talks in Arabic about, he tried it four times. He's like, I'm blown away. I want more people to try it. It's like a transformational program that one person needs to do just once a year or two, once in two years and have dramatic transformation health and mood wise and sleep and skin. So if you have like an acne prone skin or you have breakouts very often, mm -hmm. one detox, can re absolutely renew your skin. I'm, I'm blown away because, I mean, we it is a trend right now, mm. colon cleansing and like, you know. It should be. Yeah, all these supplements that have come out. There are even machines, I think, that people are using like to cleanse Yeah, but machines out. are I mean, not powerful enough with water. That's what I mean. You need something very, very strong. You need to stronger. have a powerful thing that coming not from, uh, how to say that, from down up, yeah. but in a natural way and it has to be very effective and strong for it to make a difference because that fiber is super unique i have not seen it any in any other uh, product it's it, it has like a glueish consistency so it re literally attaches itself to everything that does not belong to your colon and drags it out releases it and mm. then Obviously, you during the fast state, ketones are released, like mood boosting and anti-inflammation activities in full mode. The incredible benefits. People sleep better right away afterwards. The mood is incredible. They don't, they don't have sugar cravings because they got rid of all those parasites mm. who actually tend to crave sugar. This is essentially what we love doing on this show and mm. it's exactly what we want to bring mm. people. Knowledge, education. We want people to feel relieved. I mean, of course. so many people have struggled for years. You were talking about struggling for, I don't know how many years. Um, I've been struggling yeah, practically my whole adulthood. Mm. Like I, I've always been looking for something that works for my body, that makes me feel comfortable, yeah. but also makes me feel satisfied. I of mean, course. I want to get better, but I also want to be happy. I mean, of I course. don't want to do like a strict diet that's, you know, restrictive and, and preventing course. me from enjoying life. But that's also another thing that you should be able to, it's kind of like paying your rent. No one mm. likes to pay rent, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we have to do it. So I would look at taking care of your body in the same way. It's not that we enjoy. You can't always enjoy. There are certain things that you owe to your body, period. There's no more comments. There's no other discussion. You owe this to your body. You only have one and it's not unbreakable, mm. right? So even if you do need to go on a certain diet for one month, you have to do it because there is no other way. And uh, understanding that, like that you owe to your body, what is more important for you to go, let's say, uh, one month without bread and sugar and alcohol or actually have a lot of health issues in the future. So it's kind of like it depends what's your why. If you do one month very clean diet and go back to completely normal, useless. You defeated purpose. So you need yeah. to slowly reprogram because we are conditioned to cakes. We are conditioned to alcohol. We are conditioned. So it, it's tough. It's tough. It's a habit. When your body is introduced a new habit for 20 days, your mind shifts. Mm. So first maybe 20 days that you're going to go out on the party with alcohol going to be tough. But then it becomes natural because then you derive the real happiness from the people that you are with, from the goals that you have, from the beautiful shape that you are seeing in yourself, yes. you know, and, and, and 
flat stomach without like any things it, you you change yeah. it's just you change you make the most of what you have today i mean it's not about as you said living until i'm 100 no. it's about feeling good about myself in the now exactly like making the most of what i have now exactly tell me this 15 years ago i would be depressed because i was a smoker i was a drinker i was eating really bad like i could not imagine my life without certain things and and and, and i didn't mm. but my healthiest is right now not then and then at some point i did quit smoking and you know what i'm not thinking about it mm-hmm. now i quit drinking i'm not even thinking about it i don't even want it that means if i can anyone can it just takes a little bit of time of rewiring your neurochemistry your uh, your um, attachment to dopamine to it it is possible for you it feels now not possible but yeah. it, for me it was the same but i've changed that narrative yeah. I love it. Natasha, you are wonderful. <laughs> um and I think that's the best advice. I I was just going to ask you and I think you answered it without me having to ask. I was I was just thinking like what advice would you have for people and that's it. I mean, taking baby steps. Absolutely. Rewire your 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 brain to get used to new uh positive habits in yeah. your life. Yeah. Take it one step at a time. Don't give up everything at once abruptly. Take no, it, take it no. easy because healthier choices too. Okay, if you are on alcohol, like instead of having like I don't know martini or sweet cocktails, spirit, mm. like simple things, uh, support your liver next day as well. That will help, right? Uh, make sure okay, you have one drink and and then you have one glass of water in between. So uh, usually people drink drink drinks, no water. Mm. I would like the small things. Your body Balance. notices it, you yes. know. Or like squeeze some fresh lemon juice. Okay, straight away vitamin C antioxidant. I know you're super busy and like this this we've been trying to get you on the show for so long because I know you've had so much going on one being on Shark Tank mm. which is incredible oh and my I think God. I have to talk about this I know there's so much you can't talk about but just tell me about that that's insane <laughs> that's interesting I'm I like, just going to say one thing okay this is going to be an episode you haven't seen before okay anything <laughs> like that okay That's all I can say. That's all you can say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll look forward to it then. And Natasha, thank you so much. Thank We you, Maria. We look forward to having you back on the show. You have love so to. much to talk about. Absolutely, like a knack forever. That's and why. I love it. You're full of information. And you mentioned one thing that is so in line with our show. Think about your why. Think about your why. And exactly. we are here to tell you why. Exactly.